All right, so is the Xbox Series S the best console money can buy? Well, the simple answer is yes, but it doesn't check all the boxes. It does, however, check most of the important boxes. Let's get into it. So many, so many great benefits of owning an Xbox Series S. One of them being that it is so easy to place this anywhere on your entertainment system. I've been to a friend's house, he has a PlayStation 5, and trust me, that thing is big in person. It's really very difficult to figure out where to put it, but with the Xbox Series S, I haven't really had that much of a problem. I always find myself placing it here and there and there, and it just works perfectly fine. And if you're the type that actually goes away a lot, you travel a lot, maybe you sleep in hotels, or just simply pick up a bag and go spend a night at a friend's house to play video games. Trust me, it is extremely easy to carry. I know in my unboxing video, I did mention that this console was quite heavy, but take my word for it. It is not that heavy, especially when you're carrying it around. And half the time you really won't spend your time carrying this console, you will spend your time playing it. And really, you just pack it up in a bag and you're good to go. All right, so if you think that's good, I've got two words for you, quick resume. So I'm the type that plays multiple games at once. I'll be playing Hitman 3, I'll be playing Apex Legends, I'll be playing Guardians of the Galaxy. And if I get stuck at a mission or the game gets too frustrating, I just wanna switch to a different game instantaneously. And I'm telling you at the press of a button, I can move from Hitman 3 to Apex Legends right where I left it. And this feature is game changing. Pun intended. And don't get me started on those fast load times, man. I mean, in the past, developers would hide load times by having you take a long elevator ride or having you take a long boat ride in a game, but none of that stuff exists in this era. In this era, everything is fast as hell. You die now, two seconds later, you're back in the game. Everything is snappy and quick as hell. Okay, so with an all digital console, you will need Game Pass, obviously. Now, Game Pass is basically the Netflix of gaming. You know, I feel like I should make an entirely separate video just about Game Pass, so subscribe for that. Now, with Game Pass on this console, trust me, you will have access to a ton of games, 100 games, at least 50 of those will be AAA games. And it's only $1 for your first month. The rest of the month, $15. You can't fail to pay $15, trust me. So, yeah. It's, but there is a downside. If you're looking for 4K gaming, then unfortunately the Series S is really not for you. You might look into investing into an Xbox Series X, but it does push 1440p and it can upscale to 4K. So personally, I don't play games very close to the screen. So unless you're really pixel peeping, then you will notice a difference. I play on a 1080p TV and it works just fine. The visuals are amazing, they look great. I sit at a you know reasonable distance from the TV, so I'm okay with that. I will get a 4K TV, but I'll probably only get a 4K TV once I get a PlayStation 5. And really, at this point, I am okay gaming the Series S on a 1080p TV. It works just fine. Obviously, it can't all be roses. There is some downsides to this console, and one that really pisses me off is the storage space. You only get like 360 something usable, and with games like Forza Horizon 5 and Call of Duty Warzone, it's really difficult to manage space. Basically, you have maybe what? Two, two big games and three AAA games, and that's really a downside. You can, however, get yourself a Xbox certified external storage drive, but it's really expensive. For that, you might as well pop up and get an Xbox Series X. But if you're broke like me, you might as well just get yourself uh, you know, external SSD drive, put all your games in there. But from the external SSD, you can't play games optimized for this console of that hard drive. You would have to move those games to and from. But for all your last generation games, as long as they're saved on that SSD, you're, you're really safe. You're, you're good to go. Everything will run smooth as hell. So one more thing before I go, the user interface of this console is terrible. You know, for a company that makes Windows, they could have really done a better job. Look at the PlayStation 5's user interface. Hell, look at any other console's user interface. The Xbox's interface is bad. They would have just taken the Xbox 360 interface and brought it here. Maybe that interface was slightly better. But this UI that we're working with right now, it is terrible. Personally, I just, I just don't like it. All right, and since you made it this far into the video, clicking the like button is all you gotta do. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you wanna see my unboxing video of the Xbox Series S, click this video over here. And if you wanna see why your PlayStation 5 is going to overheat, click this video over here. And thanks you guys for watching. Cheers.